guys the 96 honda civic hatchback right here again uh we're gonna be doing the install on the traction bar stay tuned all right off camera i already installed it and i'll tell you real quick what i had to do to do it so really simple those are 14 on the back side there's a nut it's 17 those went in fine. This one, I just had to slide the radiator over just a little bit to get the tool in there. Um, this one right here, right when I try to loosen it, the nut spin, spun. So I just hacked the spot, bent it over. I was able to take it off, install this, put it back on, tighten it. So got three fully tightened bolts on that side three fully tightened bolts on that side like i said the back side nut was a 17 so if this happens to you obviously that's a hack job i'm gonna put a plate and weld it make it nice probably just spray paint it for now but that's what i had to do now we're gonna so move foremost forward. anytime i'm underneath the car i always overprotect it so i got my jack stands on uh, wood over there and then these second jacks are just underneath the subframe like that just in case uh, anything happens, a car shifts or whatever. It's just added protection to me. First things first, after you get the bar installed, I was able to jack it up and put it on the stand. So that's number one reason why I got the traction bar, obviously, duh. But uh, we're gonna take these two off right here, this one and this one. Okay, off camera, I had to loosen that one and this one came off with the impact. But uh, uh, this one right here was pretty tight on both sides. I'm just going to lift this out. So I'm going to this out right there. Hopefully nothing just falls on me. Got it. And this piece is just going to go just like this. So let me get the bolt in, put the camera down. All right, we'll come back and torque those after we're done. Tight, tight, we're gonna come back and torque them and we're gonna move forward. All right. The reason why I wanted to do this video is because there's really no instructions um, that come with it and I like instructions. So we had the blues and the silvers, or I'm sorry, the clears. One was reverse thread, one was regular thread, um, basically front and back. So I put the blues back here and I put the clear packages one right there. All right, take that off. Come in two different packages. One set will come in the blue package. One set will come in the clear package. Basically, it's just identifying which one's reverse thread and which one's normal thread. So I'm just gonna put them both on the back side. That way, when I go to adjust it, it's uh, the same on both sides. So got the little sleeve it comes in, got those out threading those in and then we're gonna install it and I'll show you how we're gonna do it. The bolt and the nut, it's a 19. So I got a 19 socket, 19 opening. And I just went ahead and put the bolts through, nut on the outside on both sides. All right, so I put the blue ones in the front. I put the clear package in the back. That way when I go to adjust it, it's the same on both sides. So now we're going to put it right here. Oh shit. I thought that I had the bracket upside down, but I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure I got it right. So I just put it in the slot and then all I had to do was turn it and it basically just extended itself on both sides until it rests in the hole. And then I'll put the other nut and bolt through there and then I'll do the same side. I'll uh, set up the camera so you can see me do the other side. I actually thought that I wasn't going to be able to put the side in, but actually am and this is a 2.5 uh hot side intercooler pipe so i have a two inch because i went to a smaller turbo so i have a two inch and i'm just gonna go two inch on the hot side and then two and a half on the outside or on the cold side i'm sorry and that will probably clear up this uh bracket from resting on it i kind of scratched it up a little bit when i was adjusting it but no biggie 
So let's do the other side. I'm gonna get this bolt in and uh, I'm not gonna tighten everything down yet. I'm gonna get that other side in and then we'll torque everything down. Super easy though, like honestly. The hardest part was just getting that, the messed up nut on the other side. Once I got this bar in, it was super easy. I was able to jack up the car, put it on the stands, like let's go. Everything clears, so let's All get this. Right one. here, I try to put the bolt in. Let me see if I'll focus. Try to put the bolt in, uh, having the nut on the bottom, but uh, the axle's like not allowing me to do that. So I have to put the nut on the top. So I have to get two open end 19s to tighten all this down. I might just put that socket on the wrench actually. All right. Just gonna get this. Once you got it lined up, just give it a little turn. So it just slides in that hole. Just take your bolt. Just like that, I'm gonna put the 19s on, I'm gonna tighten it. All right, got these 19s tight, tight. 19s are tight, tight. This 19 is tight, tight. 19 is tight, tight. And these were the 17s, this one and this one. And this one and this one. So now we're gonna just tighten these nuts, 22s, and we'll be good to go. Now you can obviously adjust it from here, go in or out, but I'm not gonna mess with any of that. Um, I'm gonna take it to the alignment shop because I also just did my outer tie rods in K Tune. So I got the alignment pretty close, but I uh, um, was waiting to install this so that way I can take it to the alignment and get it all dialed in. <laughs> But uh, we're gonna drop the car down and uh, see how it feels. So right, super stoked on the new traction bar from K Tuned. Um, this car is like really coming a long way. <sighs> Just nothing but uh, name brand stuff in here, so that looks really good. Um, I don't know if I I was gonna do an install video, but I I didn't. I did an oil cooler, so I just basically ran it right above here. Use some factory Honda bolts and nuts. Just put a little springs and uh, styrofoam. Well, not styrofoam, the sticky stuff they use for the radiator tabs. And I mounted it right there in the grill. Um, didn't drop any oil pressure at all, so it, it looks really good. And those are actually springs for the D16 Z6. I had some spare laying around. Um, let's see where my keys are at. Give you a little sneak peek. Hold on. Right here, I have the Z6 head that uh, months back I picked up for like 40 bucks. Um, I've just been doing some hand work in here. Nothing too crazy. But uh, what we do have is Springs and retainers, which I believe I already showed a video of that. And we have some new valves. So the only thing we don't have is a cam, and I'm debating on if I even need a cam. I don't really need it, because the head that I have now on the car is running fine. The car like rips. But I picked up this head for cheap, and I've slowly been grabbing parts for it, so. Got new valves. I got a spare set. The one that the dude just gave me um, when it came with the head. They're, uh, they're in there with the old spring. I got the clips in there as well. But uh, 
I didn't want to clean the valves or anything. I'm gonna relap the head with these valves. So I picked up some compound. This tool that's probably definitely not gonna work. And what else did I get? Oh. I also got this. You can look up this part. I found it off a YouTube video. Um, this is what I'm going to be using to compress the springs. Um, there's a bunch of different ways to do it, like DIY, but I'm the type of person I just rather have the tools that I know are going to work. So I've seen it done. Plus, these are aftermarket springs, so it's going to be a little bit tougher than probably trying to get the OEM springs back in. But uh, yeah titanium retainers and then the springs so we're getting close to putting that together but that's the tool we're going to be using but there'll be a video on that um shortly hopefully i got a lot going on man I got two kids i work full time and uh, my wife doesn't really know my love for honda turbo right, here's that two inch hot side and a cool type thing I was talking about switching out. I do have it. It's two inch right here. It's just been sitting. It's just a 180. So all this stuff has been sitting. There. It's hard to like really get down and work. Oh, on this 96 Honda Civic, um, I'm pretty sure this kit is very universal as far as Acura Integra's and the years it works for. Let see my new I must have been on the other box. I'm trying to find the part number for you guys, but uh, pretty sure it's like 88. Uh, 2000 Acura Civic. Actually, no. Go on the K-Tunes website because this one was specific for this chassis. So they're all specific to this chassis. I'll uh, drop a link in the description below to where I got this. But uh, thing looks clean, boy. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um make another video soon on like what's going on with the setup but uh the car's been ripping i've just been working a lot so it's been sitting but uh yeah thanks for watching